Here we're looking at Excel 2.5. We have PR, the lawn care. So that was the first step, rename it. Then it says click cell C5 in the annual plan. So this is the annual plan worksheet, C5. And it says write a formula that calculates the average price per lawn cut. So do not use the average function though. So the formula should be, right, we start with an equal sign, price per acre, so price per acre, multiplied by the average acreage per customer. So average acreage per customer. Press enter. Then it says click and sell C8. And for the total number of lawns, it's going to be, I'm on step five now, number of customers times the frequency of lawn cuts and then press enter. So now I'm going to click cell D9 and we're going to enter the formula that calculates. So start with the equal sign, the average price per cut times the total number of lawn cuts. Press enter. Then it says click cell F3 in the leases worksheet. So here's the leases worksheet. Go into F3 and it wants me to use the PMT function. So PMT and then it gives me some information. So this PMT function en enables us to look at the payments and see what everything's going to be. So we started with the PMT, have to have that parentheses. Then it says click cell B3, comma, oh, no comma. Just type the forward dash for division, type the number 12, and then type the comma. Since we're calculating payments monthly, the interest is divided by 12. So that's why the 12 is there. NPR is the next step. So we're going to click cell C3 and we're going to type multiplied by 12, then the comma again by 12 because it's monthly. So now we're at PV. So we're typing minus and then the number D3 because that's how much we owe. Type the comma and then FE, the residual value. So we're doing E3, type the comma. And then we're going to type the number one, close the parenthesis, press enter. And this is the value I get. So then it says copy that function all the way down. So to F6. Click F10. And we're looking at the total. So we're going to do, we need to make sure these are all blank. Yep. We're going to do a sum for the function. Oh, if we did an auto sum, it would be these. Or if I can click auto sum, All right, it's still gonna be the same answer. And then it says highlight A2 to F6. And that data range needs to be sorted first by interest rate and then by price. So A2 to F6, and I need to sort it. So I'm going to click sort and then we're going to do a custom sort and we want to sort by interest rate and then we want to add a level and say then by largest weight. This one was actually largest to smallest. After interest rate, we're going to do by price, and again we're doing largest to smallest. So we're going from interest rates and then price going largest to smallest, and then it says click on B11 in the annual plan. So I'm at step 18, B11, and I'm going to type the equal sign. I'm going to come back to the leases page, click on F10, and then press enter. So you know, whip me back to that annual plan worksheet, and I will be able to 
look at that. So C12, we want to click the, we want to multiply that by 12. So we're going to say equals annual lease payment, which is the monthly times 12. So there's our annual lease payment. And then for C14, we're doing lawn and equipment expenses times total lawn cuts. So we get 3330. And then in cell D16, we're doing a sum formula that adds up the expenses for this. So that's going to be just these, not the sales, just the expenses. Then in D17, this is our operating cost. So this should be total sales minus total expenses. So this is our operating income, so how much we make. And we want to make sure that we have no decimals anywhere. Nope. Okay, so now it says go to the investments sheet. I'm on step 25. Click on B10. And it says enter a count function. So count. And we want to count how many are there. So there's three of them. And then in B9. Oops, I don't actually want to click B9 because that's not part of it. For B9, right, we said that wasn't part of my count. Now I go to D3, and I'm going to click equals, come back to the annual plan, click D17, do the forward dash, click on investments, and it says click on cell B10 press enter. All right. So that's formula divides the profit by the number of investments. And before we're going to copy paste, we need to make sure this has an absolute reference. So I need to put dollar signs around where it says D17. And I need to put dollar signs around where it says B10. There we go. So now when we copy it, references aren't going to change because they're absolute. All right, so now we copied cell D3 down to D4 and 5. So let's go to step 30. So step 30 says click on cell B9. And we're going to do a sum formula. And it's going to add all of those investments. Oops, I'm not typing in the right place. Here we go. Sum and we want to add all of these, press enter, and we get our 40,000. And it says to copy this into D9. So copy, paste. Now it says format the investments and leases appropriately. So investments look good, leases, yep, those are dollars where they need to be. It says the investment sheet. Oh, it needs to be an accounting formula. So let's come back. And so we have dollar signs in the top row, and we need comma styles in the middle rows. So for B4 and 5 and D4 and 5, those need to be comma style with no decimals. And same thing for leases. So from D, um, let's see, D4 to F9, those are all just comma style, no decimals. Okay, and then let's make sure we save it, and we're good.